Good morning. <laughs> hey guys, it is uh, Saturday morning on June, um, I think it's the 22nd today, which is amazing by the way, it's already the end of June and it's going to be July and it's going to be December and wow, <laughs> this year's already gone by like a flash. But anyway, it's been, uh, psh, actually I have to think now, how long has it been since I've actually had an update? A week? Two weeks? Well, actually, it's been at least that because I've got stuff that goes back that far. So it's probably been about two weeks since I had an update. Um, but I have been buying things, so uh, this is going to be an update of the things I've purchased in the last, um, let's just say, two or three weeks. I think it's been about two weeks, maybe three. I didn't think to look before I started uploading this. But anyway, let's get this party started. Now, the first thing is, actually, I think this is probably my most recent pickup. Um, but it's not really a pickup. It's my, my last purchase from the Disney Movie Club before I canceled. And that is Oz the Great and Powerful. I like that slipcover, actually. Look at that. I originally thought I was going to get uh, that just a single disc version with the uh, Wicked Witch on the front, but I kind of like the slipcover. A lot of people don't seem to. Um, so, yeah, this was my uh, last pickup from Disney Movie Club. I canceled it. I was going to start right up again, but then I thought, you know, uh, I am trying to save money for the uh, upcoming upgrade and save, so I figured, what the heck, I may as well just wait. Um, the Disney Movie Club is always going to be there. I can always start up whenever I want, but and uh, maybe I'll actually put some new titles in that free uh, grouping section, because I do have a lot of them, and the other ones I didn't get, I done one, so. Anyway, last one. And by the way, I spent, this, this, is, what, this is the featured title for the month of May or June, whatever, whichever one it would have been. And uh, I was certain that I told him that I didn't want it. And uh, I guess I was wrong because they sent it to me. And I checked my emails to make sure because I thought, what the heck, why'd you send it? But uh, apparently I just assumed I did and I didn't. So that was on my, my that was on uh, uh, me just assuming something. So this was $30, which is more than I'm sure any of you paid for your copy. But that was pretty much the... Uh, Catalyst that maybe say, you know what, I can cancel this now. So I could, I should have canceled it weeks ago, or a week ago, but maybe they wouldn't have sent it. But I think they would have anyway. But um, yeah, I was great and powerful. I haven't seen this yet. I heard it's good. Well, I've heard it's not bad, but uh, mixed, I guess. Anyway, um, let's see. These next, this next one. Well, I guess these next two. Uh, um. I had planned to buy on Steelbook at the end of the month when they released from Amazon. Well, I can, you can get them in uh, in uh, Walmart and Best Buy, I believe now. Some Best Buys. The one not no, close to me doesn't have them, but they do at the other one. And the Walmarts did have some. Maybe not all of them, but they do have some of them. In fact, actually, guys, do, do, do Walmarts have these ones? Let me just show you. I got Scott Pilgrim uh, Spot vs. the World. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World on regular um, old Blu-ray um, for about seven bucks um, because uh, like I said I was gonna buy the um, 13 or 14 dollar ones from Amazon but uh, they just I thought to myself you know this is an older movie and it's a movie that I only I, I have never seen the whole thing I saw the first like 20 minutes of it and I liked it a lot but I just never got around to finishing it or buying it and then when I saw the steel books I thought oh I'll just buy that but then I thought eh I can get that for half that price on Amazon. So I figured, whatever, I'll just get the regular edition. And the next one is the Big Lebowski Digibook. Actually, let's move this out of the way, because, yeah, there's Scott Pilgrim. It's the two-disc edition, and that was about $7. Now this... Ta-da! I like that it's a bowling ball. That's awesome. I was also going to get this in the... Um, Steelbook. Look at that. Cool. This was about ten dollars, I think. There's the rug. Really tied the room together, man. <laughs> so I saved uh, total. I saved about uh, ten dollars, I guess, total. Buying these separately. I'm buying these not in the steelbook. So I figured, what the heck? I'm trying to save money. I am trying to buy a house in the next year. 
Um, because I'm tired of living in a shitty apartment with uh, people making noise all the time. But, uh, um, I figured, well, every dollar counts, I guess, so say where I can. Also, I just figured, uh, I've been waiting for the last two months for those to come out, and, and, uh, Walmart didn't have these ones. Um, it had a lot of the other ones. Obviously, they've had the Real Heroes ones, but some of them anyway, because I bought some. But they didn't have Hot Fuzz, uh, Big Lebowski, uh, Scott Pilgrim, and then one more. Um, I think it was Shaun of the Dead. And I'd just been waiting for them. My Best Buy didn't have them, and I just had purchased them online. Blah, 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 blah. Long story short, or long story long anyway. <laughs> I bought them separately. Anyway, moving on. Uh, let's see. I also took part in Best Buy's... Um, what was that? The uh, Buy One, Get One Free, the Save Station, Sony titles. Uh, which was what last week or the week before? Shit, yeah, it's been a while. Um, but uh, it take I, I go I check that section out all the time, but I don't buy anything unless they have the sale now. And it always takes me a while to find something because I either have the movie now, or I don't want them. Even for five dollars a piece, I'm not interested, or I don't think I am until after the sale's over. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, anyway, I bought uh, a comedy that I remember watching a long time ago. And thinking it was funny, but just never getting around to watching it again, um, for whatever reason. So yeah, uh, Talladega Nights with Will Ferrell, which is funny because I just realized I bought Step Brothers during the last buy one get one with these two guys, uh, Will Ferrell and John C. Riley, and uh, I didn't watch that yet either. <laughs> Although I've seen this one, um, I haven't seen Step Brothers. I hear it's good. I think that's uh, WrestleManiac's favorite movie. Shout out, WrestleManiac. Also, since I mentioned that just briefly, thanks again for WrestleManiac for doing a shout out video the other day. I think I gained about 13 subscribers, which is awesome. I'm, gonna, I'm so, so close to 200 that uh, it's uh, pretty surreal. But uh, that was really cool for him to do that. And all the other guys. I actually subbed to a lot of those people on there because I didn't know half of them. And uh, it's really cool. I should do a subs video, although. I've, I don't think I even know anyone else now that no one else has been subbed. But anyway, I figured I want to say thanks to WrestleManiac. That was pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, that was really awesome. I mean, there's a lot of people doing shoutouts recently. Anyway, this was the first half of the deal. And then I got a movie that I just held off on for whatever friggin' reason. Because, honestly, I don't like the packaging. Um, or I didn't. I didn't like the way it looked. I did. I thought it would be better as a digibook or as a regular Blu-ray, but uh, I digress. And that is Taxi Driver. So this is basically either five dollars or free, depending on how you look at it. I look at it as just five bucks a piece. So this for five dollars is a really cool deal. Um, for anyone who hasn't seen it yet, it just opens up like this. It's got some. Uh, art cards here, and this is just the backing I keep in there. It opened these, you can see I uh, looked at them, but uh, I put them back in the sleeve just to make them protected, I guess. But It's cool, actually. I'm glad I got it. It's nice. I haven't checked this out yet. I mean, I've seen the movie before, a long time ago. But, uh, for whatever reason, I just, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Didn't uh, want this packaging. I didn't. I didn't like it. I didn't think I liked it. I kind of like it now. It's kind of a um, velvety. What do you call that? Like a mat. Um, I'm not sure what that is. It is neat. I just kind of keep it with my digi books. I almost wish it was a digi book though. Like I could just flip through the instead of having those art cards or those postcards have like a digi book with those same pictures and maybe some info. But um, yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. $5 is a steal. That's awesome. I think this came out, when it came out, it was 25 bucks or something. And it's been $15 forever. But, uh, 5 is great. And this next one, I think I bought when I bought Taxi Driver in Talladega. I think. Yeah, I think I did. Because I don't think I bought it alone. Maybe I did. Who knows? It's been a while. This is weeks ago, too. And uh, this I, I just price matched this for twelve ninety nine, And the reason I did it is because, one, I don't own it. And uh, two, it's a really good movie. And three, um, the price is right. It was twelve, twelve twenty-one or twelve ninety-nine. 
and that is Bridesmaids with the Universal uh, 100 slip. Nice. I watched this on HBO like a year ago with my wife and thought it was pretty funny. But I uh, haven't seen this uh, unrated cut, so I don't know how much how much better it is. But uh, yeah, it's got special features too. That's cool. Oh, gag reel. I like gag reels. Drunk O Rama. Cool. That movie was pretty funny. I liked it. I hope they make more of these um, with a Christian wig and uh, my uh, and uh, shit. I don't remember their names. Uh, her. She's really funny. And that's Aaron from The Office. Rip, The Office. <laughs> well, previous Office. And let's see, these last three are from Best Buy as well, of course. Um, during their... Uh, I think that these Universal titles? Yeah, I think Universal was having a sale. I think it might still be going on. Where uh, the individual titles would be up to 15 bucks a piece, but if you buy three, they're $20 total, which is a pretty good deal, actually. And a lot of the titles I didn't have, um, there were a lot that I did have that if I didn't have them yet, I would have bought them, which is one of those things that happens all the time. I'm sure you guys can relate. It's, oh, I bought this for 10 bucks. Oh, I can get it for 6 now. It's blah. Annoying. <laughs> Patience. Um, but uh, I found three that I didn't have that I was interested in. Um, so yeah, anyway, here they are. First one is a movie I have not seen uh, that has gotten mixed reviews. Um, that I can recall, but this is probably the last Adam Sandler movie <laughs> that I would ever really, you know, have paid money to see, just because it's interesting to me. That is Funny People. Um, like I said, this has gotten mixed reviews. Um, I think they're mostly positive, but... Yeah, I haven't seen it, so I don't know how it is. I, I think I did see like 10 minutes of it on HBO a long time ago, but um, I figured what the hell I wanted it. Well, it was like $6, and that's the same thing as me wanting it. <laughs> Next one is, I had this movie on DVD from a long time ago. Uh, one, two, three, six years ago, five years ago, something like that. And uh, I like the I like the movie, um, but it's just I don't think I've seen it since I watched it the initial time five years ago, on a DVD. And um, well, anyway, it's a, it's a it's a uh, animated movie or a stop motion animation, and that is Coraline. Um, Neil Gaiman's Coraline. It's a really cool premise, actually. I'm sure all of you have heard of it by now and seen it and own it, but I didn't own it on Blu-ray yet. I mean, it does come with those... Uh, oh, I almost threw them away. It came with, um, what do you call it, those cheapo uh, 3D glasses that you used to watch, with, uh, like monster movies. And uh, I tossed them because I'm not going to watch the uh, 3D. Because it isn't real 3D. And who does that anyway? Not me. Anyway, last one of the uh, buy three for 20 bucks and it's a movie that I've never heard of well not never heard of but I've heard of it only briefly and um, obviously I've never seen it though but uh, uh, it seemed kind of cool I read the premise in the back and it looked neat and that is uh, George Clooney and Jennifer Lopez in Out of Sight and this is from 97 I think I can't see it now Well, whatever. But, um, it's about a, a criminal and a uh, FBI agent or something, or a U.S. Marshal, and, uh, I don't know. Calamity ensues. Um, I've never seen it before. I've heard, I, it's high regard, highly regarded in, uh, the, uh, like, blue, uh, movie community or film community, or I guess, um, even though it has Jennifer Lopez in it, but who knows? I guess she was okay for a while. Um, it's funny, too, because when I look at this, it doesn't look like George Clooney on the front there. It looks like somebody else, but I can't place it. Blah. Anyway, that's it, guys. 
Let me get them all back out here again. It's all stacked funny. There we go. So pretty good. Um, this is three weeks worth, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think so, anyway. Shit. I don't know. It's, it's just, This is the last several weeks, at least. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I will have more of my uh, Blu-ray update, our Blu-ray collection, uh, coming up soon. Um, just got to film it and uh, edit it and stuff. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you, see you later. And, uh, yeah, have a good uh, weekend. If I don't see you again, I'll probably see you again tomorrow or later today. Who knows? I got free time today. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Later. Hey guys, one more thing I forgot to add. I just got uh, uh, something in the mail, like right after I finished that first video. And um, uh, I didn't know it was coming this fast. But anyway, it is in the loop with those people up there. But the main one, obviously, is uh, James Gandolfini, who died on Wednesday, I believe. And I've seen people make videos about it, talk about it, obviously. James Gandolfini was one of the best actors from uh, that I can recall. Uh, obviously, The Sopranos, uh, In the Loop. Um, a lot of movies uh, recently, Killing Them Softly, and um, I believe he was in Zero Dark, Dark Thirty. I haven't watched that yet, but uh, anyway. I just want to add that to the, 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 the uh, update, too, because I did just receive this. This is a great movie, by the way. It's very, very British. But uh, very funny, too. I recommend it wholeheartedly. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you later.